So in this dream that I had last night or earlier this morning, I, I walked into this uh, building where there were like bars to every room of the building or bars and and there were all men in the in in this place and so i don't know i i mean i don't know why i was there or anything but i walked into this place and i see all these men in here some some men were kind of like huddled together or what am i trying to say grouped together cuz i don't know if someone understands what i mean by huddled together but so they were grouped together kind of close together and they were looking like they were trying they were looking at something because i was facing them and I was like observing everything that was going on. So they were looking like they were looking at something as if they were trying to stay away from something, but their backs were against the bars that, uh, were, that surrounded that particular area. So when I see them like that, since I'm entering the place, I turned to look and there was this, I turned to look and there was this one man that was, uh, kind of, I don't, I, I think the, the best way I can describe this man or these people was, uh, that this, this particular man, this white man that I, I, I noticed and observed in a dream, he, he was kind of like he was on a, a high, uh, on some type of drug, you know, one of the, the exotic drugs that makes people do things like eat other people, those, those types of drugs. So I don't know which drugs those are exactly because I've heard some stories of many of the different types of drugs that cause some people to lose touch on reality and they do that kind of stuff. But yeah, so what this guy was like over the top aggressive and all of a sudden he starts biting one of the other men that was trying to stop him, he starts biting him and he, he bit his bit a piece of his arm off and started just kept eating him until at one point he swallowed him whole. And this person looked like he was like more sick. And the person that he swallowed whole was looks looked more healthy so i just wanted to give you that idea before i explain the rest a little bit later so um i saw him do that and then there were a couple of other guys that were in that place that were doing the same thing so you had a group of people that were healthy trying to stay away from this group of sick people that were eating and actually swallowing the whole bodies of some of the healthy men. So, uh, and then you had some men that they wound up getting some guns and So with those guns, they were able to kind of like escape and I was able to get out of that place with them because at this point, since I 
entered the place, I kind of like became a target or involved in the situation. I don't know. But, um, but so yeah, they got guns and once they found an escape route out, I ran out with them. And so here it was it's in the middle of this chaos and, and we all found this huge truck. I don't know. It looked kind of like a armor truck could have been an armor truck or just a, one of the big delivery trucks, but it was a big truck and we all got in it and we, they would, we were driving really fast, trying to get away from all the chaos and everything. And then I noticed that these guys that I was with, they started shooting and killing other people. And so I was like, man, I got to get away from these people. This is just too crazy. So we finally get to a point to where they, they noticed this one uh, area of a building in an area where there were people running into that area. And so they stopped and I was like, okay, good. Cause they stopped and they started killing other people and that distracted them so that I could get away. So I got out the truck. I heard up ran and got out the truck, ran towards that building where I saw the other people running into. And <clears throat> in at this building, I noticed that there were older men just laying down resting behind the gate. And they they were all laying down resting behind the gate. And so I ran in there and those other men started to try and run after me. But these older men, they got up, they rose up in a in a bold manner. And they started uh, arguing back and forth with the men that were trying to chase me. Uh, and so once I got around the, the older men and got in, in the area of the older men where they were so that I couldn't be easily caught the older men pulled out uh like assault rifles they pulled out shotguns and there weren't just a few of them there were like 50 and because it, it was really crowded so it was like 50 to 75 maybe I don't, I don't know there were a lot of older men and they got up and they all had their guns and they pointed towards the people that were trying to come back, come after me. And they said this particular thing. And these weren't just, and as a matter of fact, these weren't just men on the outside of the building. They were on the outside of the building. And there were a whole, uh, uh, a lot more men on the inside. And they were all older. So, so these men... They got up and they they picked up their guns and they pointed towards the guys that were chasing me. And they said these particular words. They said. We'll take you up with fire. They said we will take you up with fire and so after that that's when i woke up now uh that was a really crazy dream not frightening to me i don't know why besides i believe that the spirit of god 
just has me so much at peace and and everything to where I I just can't feel that fear from having a dream like that. It may have frightened someone else if they saw the things that I saw and the way that I saw it because it it was really grotesque in the way the men ate people and they ate their whole bodies the sick men ate the whole the healthy men's whole bodies things like that but there seems to be an interpretation that the lord was trying to show me something and it looks like that in the first part of my dream where i saw the sick men eating the whole men was could could be a, a future event about this latest uh, outbreak because here it is we have sick men eating away at healthy men which could be the spreading of this particular outbreak and it gets so bad to where the sick men or the sick people uh, spreads it and it causes the healthy people, the people that were healthy, to become deceased. And then my escape was God helping me to get out of that situation and to be um and to be put in a a place of protection and his protection as as I mentioned how when I entered this particular place area where these older men were and they were all older and when you think about age and things like that even though we know that God and angels are ageless, that, you know, that's what comes to mind when I think about the particular men that stood up and protected me. And there were a lot of them. And so, um, it, it, it was as if God took me out of that particular situation. He, he made a way for me to escape some type of horrific event that was going on and put me in a, in a particular position or area to where I would be protected by him. And the last thing that I hear in the dream is that we will take you up with fire. Now I heard in a vision, I heard of a vision of how a, a rapture vision is what I'm trying to say. I heard in some rapture visions, rapture vision of how some of them had described their, their taking up as them being like uh, beings of fire going up into the heavens. And that way the, the demons that are in, in their level of the heavens cannot touch you. So when I heard that and these men said, we will take you up with fire, then I, I, I immediately thought about the rapture after, after I woke up, I thought about the rapture. In that same time, you know, I I was thinking also that with 
what was being said. It didn't seem like it was towards me. It seemed like it was more towards the men that were after me. And so it it was it seemed like it was more of them saying to the those guys that they will they will destroy them with fire because they had it. <laughs> so a uh, very interesting dream. If if you notice something about the dream and you believe that God has given you a really specific interpretation concerning it, please feel free to feel free to uh, comment down below to let me know what uh, you believe the spirit is telling you concerning this dream. And to God be the glory.